Hi everybody, this is Alan Fine. I'm here with Nils Stoltz-Lechner, and he's the general manager of the Wyndham Grand Rio Mar Puerto Rico Golf and Beach Resort. And we're at the Visit Puerto Rico function in New York City, and this is Insider Travel Report. So let's talk about, the, first of all, this is, this is not just any hotel. Let's, let's talk about the history. How, how old is it? Uh, opened in 1997 uh, on the east side of Puerto Rico, 25 minutes from the airport. Um, to me, being my 15th hotel, it's the closest um, to have ever come to being emotional um, for a number of reasons we'll talk about. But um, uh, it is a jewel as a resort with golf. I mean, it's my favorite. How long have you been there? I've been there for almost three years. So now, um, how did it fare in the earthquake and the storms? Well, in the storms, we, we were really well prepared. We got very lucky. Uh, we never closed. We, we did close as a hotel, um, but we had relief workers in. And um, supporting that cause in the process, we were able to get this unbelievable facelift for the hotel. And it only took us four months to reopen in, in February. Um, and as to the earthquakes, we, we did feel them, and, and, and I know there's people on the other side of the island that they were affected, and we helped them. We went down, served food, and brought supplies. Um, but I'm, I'm glad to say to you and everybody that, that, that our hotel and most of Puerto Rico didn't sustain any damages. Yeah. Now, uh, how large is the hotel? How many rooms? How many suites? Um, 400 rooms uh, on 600 acres with two 18-hole golf courses, 39 suites with three swimming pools, and about 700 deck chairs, which is the key thing. Okay, so you don't need to reserve. They're there. No, you, you, you don't have to go and put your stuff on a deck chair and wonder about where did it go since somebody else is lying there. We have plenty of those. What's your favorite suite? Well, I, we, we, we have what would be called the presidential suite, but there's no president in Puerto Rico. So we call it the <laughs> governor's suite. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's the governor's suite. And the governor's suite's on the top floor. It's 1,600 square feet, two connecting rooms. You oversee the pools. And when you're up there, you feel like the governor because you can see everything that's going on in the resort. From the beach view to the pools, you, you see everything. Um, and down below are the suites like the governor's suite. Um, and, and same layout, four more come down and, and four big families. Mm -hmm. For your VIP meeting, small and intimate, to just one to go kick back at, at suites that have a balcony and you can sit there and watch everything. Those suites are my favorite because you've got this unbelievable ocean view, sunset to sunrise, you're, you're, you're good to go uh, with connectors. So for big families, they're ideal. Okay. So for that many rooms, that many people, let's talk about F&B. Um, F&B is, is our crown jewel in the company with Wyndham Hotels. Uh, we have nine restaurants total. Um, well, think about it like a, a big cruise ship. So we, we have nine food and beverage outlets. And, and the ones I want to really highlight is uh, Roots. Roots is our coastal kitchen, and it's a farm-to-table restaurant. It's in the hotel downstairs. Um, and next to it, on the other side of Roots, we have the Steakhouse Palio, where we dry age our own steaks. So very traditional steaks, I mean, just high quality, um, but big difference from what Roots is farm to table. Uh, and my favorite is Iguanas up at the golf club. Iguanas is a traditional cuisine of Puerto Rico. Um, you have to go from the hotel, it's a shuttle for three or four minutes. You get up there and you have a view of the golf courses and it's elevated, so it's, it's, it's really, really nice. And on top of that, outside we have at the pools two restaurants. One is five o'clock somewhere, and that's uh, Jimmy Buffett feature type of uh, restaurant with really American food. Um, and then we have Tiki Hut on the other side. And Tiki Hut is more local food, more what Puerto Ricans eat. But what we wanted to do is diversify it. And so if you're there, you can have a little bit of food that's Americana, and then you have a little bit more food that's more Caribbean oriented at the pool as well. For the farm to table uh, restaurant, how are you managing that? We, we actually really want to support local farmers. And uh, we do that by the taste of Rio Mar. Uh, it's a nonprofit, and, and we get people to deliver produce to us and also fishermen. And 
we give that money back to them and we're working with two organizations that, that help us um, help the local farmers get back on their feet. As you can imagine, yeah. two years ago, um, they, they, they needed, needed the help, the help and, and um, we, we really focused on that because they're, as you know, the hardest working people that, that, that we need to support and we're really committed to that. Uh, describe some public areas. Public areas for us are, 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 for me, the biggest thing we focus on. We do weekly walkthroughs. I told you we've got 600 acres. Our landscaping is second to none. I mean, we, we have a total of 32 staff that we have just doing landscaping. Um, huge pool areas uh, with three pools, a beach that's two miles long that gets raked every day, so it's really nice and clean as well, um, and, and, and grounds up to the golf courses with the two 18 holes that kind of complete the entire resort feel for you. All right, so now uh, let's talk about the um, activities that you offer. Well, activities, uh, it would take me probably three days to go through all of them. In the morning, it starts out as we have a morning walk. So we have recreation that takes you out and goes through the mangroves and the golf courses, because before they play golf, you can actually walk on that without getting hit by a golf ball. And when you come back, there's the iguanas feeding. And um, you might laugh, but actually we trained them. Um, they come at 11 o'clock, you can feed them, feed them salad leaves, and you can feed the iguanas. Um, then it goes to beach volleyball and water volleyball. We have bingo at the resort. We have nature trails that come up behind the rainforest. You can book that. You can go snorkeling, scuba diving. If you want to jet ski, we have that also. Uh, we have tennis, and obviously we've got a whole bunch of golf. Um, <laughs> and if you're still bored with that, we can continue because we have mixology classes for drinks so at the pool bar you can swim up every day at two o'clock you'll get to learn how to mix a perfect cocktail so from that to beach olympics um, we have everything you need and you probably get tired just listening to what i'm telling you about but um uh, you can pick and choose what you want to now you probably don't want anyone to leave and nobody needs to leave but rio mar is a hotbed so what's there every fourth of july and it's a summer soiree. Uh, it's a, an event that we do for the community. On our 600 acres, we have about 926, roughly, apartments. And um, we have this party we throw, and all the funds and proceeds go to the local school, the public school, and we buy kids backpacks to go to school. Really, really cool ones. So that's the first one. The second one is the Taste of Rio Mar. It's a food event. Um, last year's event was 60 people and our wines alone in the evening were $40,000 retail. So you missed that one, but yeah. maybe it'll come next time. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. To wrap up, we've got over 100,000 travel advisors listening. How should they work with you and what do you want them to know in parting? Well, the first thing is work with me in buying a ticket to come to Puerto Rico. Um, and there's a lot of great hotels and restaurants and, and you have to come in the island. If you've not been there, um, please give it a chance and, and, and come down and visit us because it's tranquil and it's magical. And then uh, once you start sending your clients there, they're going to want to go back and they're going to be great word of mouth. It's word of mouth right now. What we're doing is we're, we're, we're delivering great guest services. That I mean, it's service level is so important to us. And, and it's word of mouth, and you said it exactly right. Um, if your neighbor comes and says, I was in Puerto Rico, you've got to go to Windman Grand, Rio Mar, you'll probably show up. So I hope to see a lot of you in Rio Mar and welcome you personally. Thank you, Nils. Thank you. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.